Okay, so I thought I'd make a plant update video. This is a plant that I got recently. It's a Cullen Coe, and um, it's quite an unusual looking one. This one, it's got like red around the edges of the leaves, and uh, I don't know if that's because of uh, the sunlight or whether they're just red anyway. Because some succulents, the leaves will go a bit red if they get loads and loads of uh, sunlight. Um, but yeah, the leaves are a lot thicker than most of the Cullen Coes, and the leaves are serrated as well. Um, just a really interesting looking plant and it came in this little bunny rabbit pot as well and then recently I got this uh, this big gibera or gibera it's got red flowers on it but they have died okay so there's not much to say about a lot of these plants um, nothing has changed really since my last plant update video um, it's a really sunny hot day today this one. Um, in my last update video I don't think it was in this pot. But you can see um, it's in a nice big shallow pot. Um, really suits the plant I think. And then these two clanchos are actually cuttings that I took off the the bad looking plank holes which you could see I think they were in my last update plant update video um, so so they're basically just very leggy very tall and thin um, so I took cuttings off them and the cuttings have grown quite a lot um, it wasn't that long ago when I took cuttings but you can see the clankos, clankoes, uh, look a lot better now. And then here's some more cuttings as well, which I'm growing. So this is my other gibera or gibera, I've been meant to say it. And uh, yeah, for the first time, this flower is actually flopping over. So I think it actually needs some water. The leaves are kind of looking a bit dull. Um, but yeah, this one it produces white flowers. And then recently I got this nice big looking succulent and there's, uh, there's new growth on there as well. Let's try and get it at an angle where you, where you can see it, where it's not too dark. And uh, that little each of area that I had, somehow it got root rot. I'm not really sure how because it really didn't seem like I was over watering it. But... Um, I decided to try and save it by taking off some of the leaves and then just leaving them on top of the soil and you can see that a lot of them are growing roots and even little baby plants there and got another pot as well with some leaves in them so this big leaf this actually isn't from that each of area which got root rot. I basically found this leaf on a shelf in Tesco where the plants were. So I decided to take it because, you know, it, it's very likely it would have just been thrown out. So I thought I'll take that and try and grow a plant off it. And you can see that I have managed to uh, actually grow a plant from it. And you've got some more leaves from the, uh, the Achievia that I lost to, uh, to root rot. And this leaf, it's off um, a black prince, which I'll show shortly. I'm going to see if I can grow anything off that. And this baby's terse plant, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And I actually bought this nice looking elephant to put the plant into. Um, not really sure if you can see it that well. A lot of it's just kind of looking black on camera. Let's try and change the angle. So yeah, it's a really nice looking pot. And this is a succulent that I bought recently. I bought it at the same time that I bought this one. And it's a, I think you call it a crashula. Um, my mum bought one of these many years ago, like back in the mid 90s. And uh, God knows what happened to it. But when I saw this in Morrison's, I thought I've got to get this. Because I do like it and plus it's like kind of nostalgic as well. And this one comes in a bunny pot as well. At first I didn't like these pots, I thought I'll probably just change the pot when I get home and like sell this pot on eBay, but it kind of 
ended up growing on me quite fast, no pun intended. So this plant is basically a variant of this one. You can see they're both very similar, but this one the leaves are shaped a bit different and it's a lot more greener. Um, cubic frost, I think I showed that in the last update video. Um, this plant is doing really well. Got no idea what the name of it is. Very chalky looking leaves. Um, this is the Black Prince that I took this leaf from. Um, yeah, it's an unusual succulent in, in that the uh, the leaves use, well, if, if it gets enough sunlight the leaves go very very dark, almost black. Um, but this has actually gone less black since I've had it and I think that's just due to lack of sun. And uh, yeah I think that's about it really, these little baby cats are doing really really well. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching.